This video is part of our course on PySite 6 for widgets, which is on Udemy. The course goes from the absolute beginning, showing you how you can take advantage of cute widgets using the Python API under the PySite 6 or a cute for Python umbrella. And it covers things you really need on a daily basis, signals and slots, a bunch of widgets you can use. We show you how to use Qt Designer. At the end, we also show you how to work with networks and the model view architecture. If you are interested, be sure to check the link in the description below. In this video, we are going to set up the environment that is going to allow us to build Qt for Python applications or PySide 6 applications. And the tools we install should work on Windows, Mac, and Linux because that's the essence of Qt. Qt is a cross-platform framework that allows us to write applications once and be able to build them on different platforms. And in this course, we are interested in building for Windows, Mac, and Linux. So here are the tools we are going to need. We will need an installation of Python. Once we have Python, we will install PySide 6 and we will need an editor through which we will be typing Python or PySide 6 code. Later in the course, we will need Qt Designer, but I am going to show you how to install it later at that time. For now, we will get into the process of installing Python, PySide 6, and the editor that we are going to be using in this course here. Another thing I should say is that you don't have to use Visual Studio Code. It happens to be an editor that I prefer because it's free, it's cross-platform, it looks and feels the same whether you are on Windows, Mac, and Linux. And I expect a lot of students to be watching this course on different operating systems. So Visual Studio Code is a good choice here. Okay, so let's start with Python here. If you go to your search engine and uh, type Python, install, we will go to the python.org website and you will find binaries you can download for whatever operating system you are on. So if you hit download here, you will download it and install it like you install any other application. And when you are done installing Python, you should be able to go to your terminal, whatever terminal you have installed and say Python. And if you see a message like this, it means that Python is installed on your system. Now we have Python installed. Let's exit out of this. Exit. Okay, we are done here. Now that we have Python installed, okay, now that we have Python installed, we need to install PySide 6. And to do that, it's really simple. All you have to do is to open your terminal here and use the pip package manager for Python. We will be using version 3 here. So let's say pip 3 install PySide 6. Six, type this on your terminal. If you hit enter, the tool is going to go to work and it is going to download and install PySide 6 on your system. And at this point, we will have Python and PySide 6 installed on our system. The next thing we want to do is to install an editor. And as I said, we will be using Visual Studio Code in this course here. So let's go back to our search engine and say Visual Studio Code download. This should spit out a link to the website for Visual Studio Code, and you can download and install for your operating system. I am on Windows at this moment, so I can download and install it on Windows, but you can do the same whether you are on Linux or on a Mac. Once you have this installed, you will need to open it up. If you open it, it's going to look something like this. And the first thing I want you to do once you have it installed is to install a Python extension that is going to make our life easier when working with Python code. And all you have to do is type Python in the search bar here. Let's make sure it is highlighted so everybody can see it. So we have this guy here, and I want you to choose the one that says Python here. And I want you to choose the one that says Python here, okay? The one from Microsoft, if you click on it, it's going to say IntelliSense, the linting, debugging for whatever in a Visual Studio code you will click on install and wait for it to be installed. And at that moment, you will be ready to start using Visual Studio Code to develop Qt for Python applications using PySide 6. Okay, now that we have this installed, it's time to test it and see that it actually works. What we are going to do is to open a folder on our system. Let's go somewhere on my drive here. I have a folder. It is an empty folder. You can name it whatever you want. And if you go in, you're going to see that it is an empty folder. 
what we are going to do is to drag and drop this on top of Visual Studio Code and this is going to open the folder inside Visual Studio Code. We are going to get a window that says, do we trust this folder? Yes, I trust this because I created it. So yes, trust the authors. And we will have something on the left here. And this is going to be where we see our files. And this section here is going to be the editor in which we're going to be typing stuff. So nothing special here. Let's go on the left and hover over these buttons here. You see, we see one that says new file, another says new folder. We want to click on the one that says new file. And in this window, we will type main.py for Python. If we do that, we will create a Python file here. And all we need to do is to put in Python code that is going to attempt to use the PySide installation we just brought into our computer here. Okay, so what we are going to do is to put in some code to test things out. I don't really expect you to understand everything we do here. All we want to do is to make sure that the environment works. We will have a chance to learn about all the things we see in this piece of code and if anymore. So let's put in an import statement and this is just going to import Q application and Q widget. And these are classes we're going to be using to create our widgets application. After that, we can go down and say import sys. And this is going to import a facility that allows us to work with command line options in Python. If you know Python, you probably know about command line options. We can go down and create a variable app and we're going to say Q application and sys args. And after that, we will create a window and it's going to be a Q widget. We will show the window. And after that, we will start the application by calling the exec method. Okay, now that we have this, we can uh, try to run it. But before we do, please make sure you have exactly the same thing as I do here. I would even recommend going to the GitHub repository for the course and copying and pasting this entire code here. Because at this point, you may not be familiar with these things like Q application, Q widget. And some people are going to introduce typos and have unnecessary frustrations. So I do recommend using the code as is here. So you can copy from the GitHub repository and paste in here. Okay, once you have the code in, make sure you save so you can control S on this or file and save. And after this, we will open a terminal window. We're going to come to view and say terminal. And it's going to open a terminal window inside Visual Studio Code in our current folder here, which is a bit convenient. And we will type Python main.py. And if we wait, we're going to see a window pop up and this is confirming that our installation of both Python and PySide 6 is working. And we are ready to start learning about Qt for Python. And this is really cool. This is really all I had to share in this lecture. And again, the goal was to set up a development environment we can use to do what we do in this course here. We have Python 3 installed, we have PySide 6 installed, and we installed the editor that we will be using throughout this course here. Don't worry about Qt Designer at this point because we're going to need it later in the course. And when we get to need it, we will install it. And you're going to see how cool all this is. We are going to stop here in this lecture and I will see you in the next one.